Welcome back divas. It's your girl TX Beauty Queen 83 coming at you today with a natural hair empties video. So I want to kind of go over a couple of products, actually a lot of products that I have used up and kind of give you mini reviews and whether or not I will repurchase these products. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And for all my returning subscribers, thank you for joining me for yet again another video. So let's jump right into it. So y'all, I got a lot. I got stuff falling everywhere. So in no particular order, um, here's my Jane Carter Wrap and Roll Foam Styler. And I wanna say I did get this from Sally's and it wasn't anything special to me. I've been having this for a couple of years now. It took me forever to get through because I typically don't style with a foam wrap. So with that said, I would not repurchase this product. Next is my Camille Rose Naturals Clean Rinse Moisturizing and Clarifying Shampoo in Honey and Mint. And I actually got this shampoo at one of my natural hair um, beauty supplies and it was $14. I really did like this shampoo. Um, it did not strip my hair of its moisture, but it left my hair feeling super clean and it did retail for $14. Yes, to Camille Rose, I will repurchase this product. So I mentioned this product a couple of times on my channel already so you guys should know if you've been following me that this Myel Organics Mungungo Hydrating uh, Conditioner, I got this from Sally's and I think it's like $16 or $17 so it is pretty pricey for a 8 ounce product but y'all this is one of my favorite products. I mentioned this in my deep conditioner uh, video that I posted back in December or early January. I will link it below um, but yeah. Even though it's pricey, I will repurchase it. I actually ordered some online the other day. I love this deep conditioner. It provides lots of moisture with no protein. If you're protein sensitive, if you're protein sensitive, you should definitely try this product. Next is a product that I mentioned on my channel a couple of times. I have a lot of hair. My hair is super, super, super kinky. And I need something that's good for detangling while I'm in the shower or even outside of the shower. And the Aussie Mega Moist Conditioner does that for me. As you can see, I got hair all over it. And I do purchase it in the largest size with the pump because I go through these. I probably go through one of these every two or three months. Um, because I really coat the hair while I'm detangling because you got to be gentle on the strands. So yes, I will repurchase this. I have done so over the last two years over and over again. I wish they had like a 64 ounce size with a pump. All right. So next is my As I Am Smoothing Gel. Now, it took me a couple of years to get to this product. Um, there's not anything wrong with the product. It is kind of pricey. Actually, no, somewhere kind of in the middle. Um, but it took me forever to get through this product, but simply because I don't really use it that much. So, um, no, I wouldn't repurchase this product. It served its purpose while I had it. I really use it to slick my edges down, and that's about it. So, no, I would not be repurchasing this product. Okay, next we have my Hydrotherma Naturals um, Deep Conditioners. And if you guys have been following me or if you have watched my favorite deep conditioner video you would have seen these two products in that video and these are my ogs these are my holy grail products and i have repurchased these products over and over and over again over the last two years of my natural hair journey um and i will continue to do so this is a small black owned company i follow them on instagram and facebook i will link her facebook down below um great person these products are actually kind of on the pricey side for four eight fluid ounces. I do have the moisture boosting and the amino plus protein deep conditioner. I love them both. Next is one that I've been using for quite a while and it did take me a while to get through because um, I thought it was something wrong with the product initially but my hair just wasn't cooperating with me but as you can see I finally finished it and I actually have another one a big container. This is the kinky curly uh, curling custard. I do use this for my wash and go along with the kinky curly not to date leave-in conditioner Which I love holy grail. I actually use it in my hair for my wash and go today, honey So yeah, we'll repurchase I already did 
So next is the Miss Jessie's curling pudding. And this one, it's not actually finished. There's a little bit left, but with all the hair I have, I can't get through a, a complete twist out with this um, amount of product. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out. These curling creams are really, really, really expensive. And to me, for the price, it's just not worth it. So you do get eight ounces of product. Not saying that it's not good, it is. However, I do have other curling creams that work um, just as good, but half the price. So no, I will not be repurchasing this. And it actually, been in my collection for like three years so it's time to go next is another holy grail product and that is my eco styler gel and this one is the black castor and flaxseed oil um when this first 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 launched a few months back or well, like six months ago i bought two of these so this is the first one i am halfway done with the second one um Oh, I didn't use it today i use a different eco um but yeah eco styler is my favorite eco <laughs> Eco Styler is my favorite gel for my wash and goes. It's cheap, it's accessible, and it gets the job done. So yeah, why not? The next product is a product. Oh. The next product is a product from a very small company, and this is Blair Care Curly Jelly. And I got this from one of my local natural hair stores called Pampered and Twisted. It's over by West Oaks Mall. If you're familiar with Houston, um, this is a 16 ounce jar and it's $18. That's not bad when we're talking about natural hair products. So, um, yes, I will repurchase this product. I actually want it again. Honey, my curls were popping. It's just that I do so much product. It's really hard for me to buy an expensive gel, but I will buy this one because speaking in terms of price of most other natural hair products, $18 for a, for a 16 ounce is good. So yeah, I want this uh, restock. This one is a moisturizing hair perfume and this is in Citrus Splash by Allocate Naturals. And I picked this one up also at Tendras and Curls in Houston, Midtown, High, something like that, uh, Uptown, whatever. Um, and so as I was saying, this is a hair perfume and it didn't retail for $7. Um, I'm gonna say that it was cool like I don't really have anything bad to say about the product but I don't think that I'm gonna be spending seven dollars for two ounces just to make my hair smell good so yeah I'm good on that no I will not repurchase um, next is another hydrothermal naturals and this shampoo was probably up around twenty dollars and it's a 12 ounce product and this is the SLS Moisture Plus Hair Cleanser. I love this. I love this. Um, honestly, I just need to kind of re-up my entire Hydrothermal Naturals uh, collection because I'm out of all of her products right now. But yeah, this is a good uh, shampoo and it doesn't strip my hair and it's SLS free. So gentle on the strands. Love it. Okay, this is the generic silk treatment and it's kind of like a generic bio silk silk therapy from the Sally's collection and I've been having this in my collection for like four years now uh, six fluid ounces it is empty um, this is something that I would use on my hair whenever I would diffuse it I do have a replacement product for that now I don't use this type of product anymore I use a heat protectant spray so no I would not repurchase this product but I don't necessarily have anything bad to say about the product itself so Next is um, a sample size, Diva Curl Deep Sea Repair. And this is a treatment and this is a 1.5 ounce uh, product. And it says you're supposed to leave it on your hair for 15 to 20 minutes and then rinse out. Um, you guys, I think this product really had my hair moisturized. I actually slept with it overnight last night. And by the way, it's not completely empty. It's just a little bit left. And my my hair took the entire tube, by the way. Um, Y'all, this is some good stuff. You need to try it. You need to try it. You need to try it. Um, it is very, very, very pricey. Um, Diva Curl products are pricey in general. But um, yeah, this is good stuff. I highly recommend you try it. Another moisture boosting deep treatment. Um, as you can see, I love their deep conditioner. Both deep conditioners, the moisture and protein amino acids, y'all, are bomb, bomb, bomb. I just wish that you get more for your money um, or either they come in a larger container because I can run through this in six weeks and I need to buy another one. So, yeah. Next is the Curveda 
pure hd hair definition gel um i'm gonna tell you right now i do love i do love supporting small black business um absolutely but this product it didn't work for me i just used it just to get through it because it was like 15 18 dollars whatever um but yeah no never again now the Curvata creme brulee which i thought i had over there but it's somewhere else um the Caraveda creme brulee is bomb love that product but that hd gel no ma'am um last is the mazani 25 miracle milk um i don't necessarily have anything bad to say and it was pricey it was 12 dollars well i guess it's not too bad for a leave in i don't know everything is pricey for natural hair these days but yeah um i purchased this a long time ago and i kept it so i could talk to you guys about it um i actually really like this product and it smelled amazing um but i think that it was going being discontinued yeah this is by mazani i like this stuff i, I wish that it was more accessible and if i get my hands on some more i would but this is good i really like this so i'm gonna hold on to the bottle to remind me that i like it and to find it so yeah, that wraps up my natural hair empties. I've been collecting these products over the last couple of months. Um, I promised you guys that I was gonna do more natural hair videos on my channel. Um, it's just that sometimes I really don't know what to do. I've done wash and goes. Uh, well, actually I do. There's a couple of videos that I need to make about uh, herbs and oils that I use and nighttime routines and stuff like that and how I preserve my wash and go so you guys give me some suggestions down below on what natural hair videos that you would like to see me do and I could definitely make that happen I'm trying to introduce more natural hair videos on my channel um, because people ask me about hair all the time so yeah I will go ahead and link the wash and go routines that i've done using the eco styler gel and a couple of other natural hair videos down below so that you guys can check them out again if you are new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button um i post all different kinds of videos mostly beauty and hair related and home fragrance as well because i love smell goods don't forget to follow me on instagram at txbeautyqueen83 as well as facebook and until the next time guys i will see you later Bye bye